Hi, welcome to Crystal's Diamond Painting. I'm Crystal. I'm doing it a little bit differently. We're starting off with a peek at Cassia from Diamond Art Club. She is the diamond painting that I am doing for Drills and Chills 2021 and DP Festival of Witches. Um, I want to start off with saying if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Hopefully you'll decide to stay. Please hit the subscribe and notification bell. And for everyone coming back, thank you so much. I couldn't do this without you guys. I really appreciate it. If everyone could give me the great big thumbs up, that'd be really awesome. So um, I guess I want to start off with our giveaway. We are doing um, Wilson's 3D Design. It is day 14. We're pretty much close to being done. Last day for our last entry and then uh one week and i'll announce the winner so we're going to start off with the purple phone stand um it is from wilson's 3d design again it's very pretty i really enjoy it um i have one with uh the rainbow colors from pink to blue um and then like a bluish green it's really it's really awesome and then there's the chocolate pegboard tray um, it does have a lid which is laying down its side um, it does have a plug which is very cool it's got some pretty deep sides I like it a lot so if you want to see it moving around or in a picture or in a video or whatever go ahead and check out my other videos on the giveaway so anyways I won't go any more into that check out the description below to see all the details on the giveaway so anyways, we're going to jump into um, a time progression of me working on Cassia. All right, peeps. So I wanted to basically um, do this whip and chat like a, a catch up, if you will. Um, so, yeah, I've been super busy. Uh, did my birthday on Monday and... Um, then Tuesday, I, I was doing some videos to try to catch up and uh, trying to respond to comments. And I got new tires that came in for my van um, for the winter time for snow tires. I got Blizzaks. I don't know if you've ever heard of them before, but they're supposed to be one of the best winter tires you can get. Um, I don't know. I had them on my G6. Um, which is a little car, and it, it got around great in the snow. Um, I'm excited to see what will happen with the, the Grand Caravan. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I really wanted to say thank you guys for all the comments and all of the conversations we've been able to have recently. It's been really cool. I've enjoyed it, and I've been enjoying looking at videos that you guys have put out, too. Um, I find that very cool to see what you guys are up to and what your life is like for you, like what you have to say, you know what I mean? Um, it's more of a two-way street that way, and it's it's very cool. Um, I like that we can do that in the YouTube community, that we can um, subscribe and follow each other and kind of keep up and become friends, um, even though we might be separated by oceans or mountains, rivers, valleys, whatever. I just think it's really cool that we have this ability to connect and to stay um, as a group, as a community. I think it's really cool. Anyways, I'm rambling and I'm sorry, but um, yeah, I think I want to say thank you for all the grace you guys showed me because I, I can't explain um, how much it means to me to do the diamond painting and to do the YouTubing. Um, it just, it allows me to kind of recenter and take focus off of all the other crazy aspects of my life and make those aspects seem more rational and more... Um, obtainable and doable but at the same time sometimes I get so busy with those things that doing diamond art is absolutely impossible so um again thank you guys for the grace that you showed me and telling me to 
take my time, take a day, whatever. Um, that was very cool of you guys. So shout out to you first and foremost, um, because without you guys, you know, I really wouldn't have anything to be putting out or a reason to be putting it out. Um, yeah, I, I don't really do it to get subscribers, so to speak. Well, we do do it to get subscribers because you, you want subscribers, but you want subscribers that care about your channel that are, um, you know, gonna watch your videos and care what you have to say and what you're doing that makes it worthwhile. You don't mind having the people that just stop in and real quick peek at what you're doing and then move on. That's fine too. And by the way, our word for today is journey. Again, our word for today is journey. But back to what I was saying, um, I don't mind people just peeking in and, you know, popping in once in a while and not really sticking around for much. That's fine too, because everybody views in their own way. And I have to be honest, sometimes my life doesn't allow for me to really view a video in entirety and I have to do it in peaks. Um, I was watching TSL Dame Crafts this morning. Um, hopefully she doesn't mind me saying her name on my channel. I didn't ask for permission first, so hopefully she doesn't mind. But um, I, I was watching her video and I was really enjoying it. But unfortunately, I had so much to do that I had to stop watching and um, start focusing on my day and getting stuff done. So, um, put that on the back burner till this afternoon, but I am intending on watching that later as much as I can anyways. Um, hopefully the day will allow for it, but yeah, that's, that's the way it is. Sometimes I can watch an episode for, you know, a, a good, good episode and sometimes I can't, I just don't have the time. Uh, so I appreciate both kinds of viewers. But I think, I think my favorite probably are the people that um, take the time to to comment and have a conversation with me. Um, and I know not everyone's going to do that. And if you don't, that's fine too. I'm no pressure. It's okay. I don't mind. I'm just saying that I I do appreciate it when that happens, and um, I look forward to it. So, okay. Now that I've rambled on and on about this what are you guys up to all right so it didn't happen to you but it happened to me um i had a brief interruption there where i had to stop and go make my son some bagels for breakfast um and it's kind of weird because well we like blueberry bagels with blueberry cream cheese and onion powder and it's not weird to me or to them because they like it. But to my husband and to other people, they think it's weird. Another weird thing that we do apparently is peanut butter and Miracle Whip sandwiches. Yep, you heard it here first. Peanut butter and Miracle Whip sandwiches. If you didn't hear here first, if you've heard it before, um, oh, even if you like it, um, I don't know. It's weird to some people, but I grew up with it, and my kids have grown up with it, and it's just something we enjoy. And let's be clear, it's not mayo. It's Miracle Whip. There's a big difference. Um, I like mayo on my chicken sandwiches or turkey sandwiches or ham sandwiches, but Miracle Whip if you're going to do peanut butter. Yeah, I know. Weird, right? But anyway, super good. If you haven't tried it, try it. I love it. Um, anyways, um, do you guys do any super weird foods? I mean, I can't be the only one. We can't be the only family that has some oddities to what we eat. Come on. What kind of oddity do you have? Like, what's your off-the-wall thing that you or your family member or somebody that you know does? Because I know we're not the only ones. Um... Something else that my dad and I grew up with, my dad was a big fan of, was scrambled eggs with ketchup and Miracle Whip on bread. 
um, that bread could be just regular bread or it could be toasted or whatever. It, did, it didn't matter either way. Um, so that's another weird thing, I guess, because I don't think everybody does that. Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know where all this came from. I was going to talk about something completely different, and then I went and made breakfast for him, and my mind is now totally on food. Uh, I, I guess also because last night I made, um, and it sounds horrible, but I had I'd been sleeping, and um, my husband had had made my son dinner while I was sleeping, and I woke up, and it was um, like 7.30, and I had to make myself some something to eat to start the day. Um, well, start my day. It's everyone's nighttime for them, but I was just getting going. But anyways, um, I did. I um, opted for mini pizza bagels, um, homemade ones. And um, my son was like, he wanted a few because he really likes them. And so I, I took the little mini bagels and I split them in half and I put the pizza sauce on them. And I went to go put the cheese on and I realized, well, we didn't have enough cheese. So I ran to the store and I grabbed cheese. And at the same time, I grabbed some sour cream because we were low on that. And then I totally forgot to grab myself some like little sausage bites or something to put on it because everybody else in the house does either just cheese or pepperoni. And when I bought for the pizza bagel thingies for everyone, I bought pepperoni and cheese. I didn't buy any kind of sausages for me or whatever because I do like little sausage. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I don't even know where I was going with this story. <laughs> I'm I'm totally lost now. I think I'm I'm thinking about how hungry I am. But uh, wow, oh wow! I just turned the light on on my light pad and. With that being said, I'm going to have to hit this canvas with a straightener because my lines are off. But, I, you know, light pads do that. They accentuate all the errors and flaws in your canvas. Still, though, I'm going to have to hit, a, hit it with a straightener. Yep, most definitely. So, but anyways... Um, Let's see, what else? Oh, just busy working. Uh, doing a lot of trips to the airport recently. I guess people are back on their travel schedule. Um, a lot of business flights in the morning. Um, I'm not really taking people that are doing uh, vacationing, so to speak. Maybe a few. Um, maybe that'll increase around the holidays. Uh, but so far last month or so seems to be strictly not strictly I can't say strictly because I don't know um, I haven't asked every customer and I know it's not strictly because strictly implies none or next to none so I can't say that but anyways um, it's mostly been people talking about doing business trips um, either flying in for business or flying out for business um, yeah had a few customers um, that were travelers tell me that they, when they traveled abroad, they have to do a COVID test every 72 hours um, to prove that they don't have COVID to, to continue moving freely about, uh, regardless of vaccination status and um, previously having COVID or anything like that. Um, so that that's um that's kind of crazy but i don't know it is what it is i guess so i'm just glad that travel is still happening um at all you know i'm happy that it's somewhat a semblance of back to normal at least at the moment um that Back to normal is a lot different than what it used to be, though, ain't it? Um, yeah. My new normal is definitely different. Uh, I, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's different. Um, I don't know. It's had its negatives and its positives. Um, if you don't know this about me, if you haven't figured this out by yet... 
uh, by now, by yet, <laughs> funny, by now, um, you're going to, I am a little bit over expressive at times and, um, I tend to express my feelings and emotions as much as I can, but, um, yeah, anyways, I, I don't know, I, I've, I've taken some good out of this though too, um, it's, it's been good to spend so much time with my family, it's been good to recenter and to um, find new outlets and avenues for myself to express myself and to um, be able to refocus and recenter. You know what I mean? Um, I think it, the pandemic has done something different for everyone. Um, whether that be negative or positive, I think is case by case dependent. Um, I've definitely had a lot of negatives too. I just choose not to really talk about them or think about them very much. So hopefully um, you guys will choose to look at the positives that you got out of the out of the situation and you'll be able to move forward and have good luck, good health and good prosperity because we're coming to the end of our video. As you can see, um, I have think let me think. Uh, yeah, just a few more left. And I know I always stumble right at the end because I can't seem to time it out right. I don't want to go over, but I don't want to cut you short and have you hang there for a whole bunch of time while I, it's just dead air. So anyways, come back and see my next videos. Much love. Bye.